Hello boys and girls, I'm Mr. Jimmy. Just reviewing real quick lesson 5.1, measuring and drawing angles. Uh, as you can see here, uh, on this first page, I just have a bunch of terms that we kind of discussed today in class a little bit. Uh, we did hit on ray, we did hit on uh, acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle. Uh, notice I have plane here twice for some odd reason. Um, let me take here, I'll take this plane out. A plane, now it's not like an airplane that you're thinking of. A plane is a flat two-dimensional surface that has length and width. And we could find lines, line segments, rays, all angles, all on planes. Uh, we talked about also a line. Again, we know that something goes in both directions infinitely. It doesn't have any end. Continue on, whereas a line segment, that is a part of a line, but it has two definitive points that state its beginning and end or end and beginning. So a, a line segment and a line appear to be similar, but a line segment goes on, or a line segment has a definitive or set end and beginning, whereas a line goes on infinitely in both directions. But a line can also have several, several, numerous points. N not, n there's no real set term of how many points you'd have on it. Okay. Now to kind of also hit touch base on what we did today in class, we talked about. Measure and uh, lab measuring and labeling angles, and so take a look here. Measure and label the two angles below. Remember, we talked about here in class today, just touching base on it. We're going to talk circle the verbs in this. What is it telling us to do? What does it wants to? It wants us to measure. That's a thing we could do. It's an action word and label, and we're going to measure and label the two angles below. All right. So first of all, what I can do is I'm going to measure it. Now again, we talked about measuring with a protractor. I can kind of cheat a little bit and use my protractor. Let me make this a little larger so you can see it a little better. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to line up, I'm going to call this my origin on my protractor, and I want to line up that origin on the vertex. Remember the vertex is where the angle is formed. So I'm going to line it up right there. Okay, let me slide over just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to line up on the vertex. Now, see how touchy these are. It's just same like your protractor. And I want to line this up on the vertex so that this bottom line extends along one of the rays, one of the rays, because there's two rays that make up an angle. So I can see that this now is lined up, this origin is lined up on the vertex, which extends through this ray. And now I could tell right here this angle is an acute angle, meaning it's less than 90 degrees, but greater than zero. Now, because this is lined up at zero, I can count by tens 10, 20, 30. So this angle would measure. 30 degrees. Now I've measured it, but I also want to label it. Okay, labeling it, I could choose any three letters I'd like. So for this, I'm going to choose angle M, which is one point, A, which is where the vertex is formed, and we'll just call it N, angle man. M angle M A N. Notice I'm using all capital letters. So if I were to write this out, I would say the measure of angle M A N is equal to 30 degrees. Did I spell label right? For some reason that looks odd to me. Uh, also, I have the measure of angle. I call it N A M. That also equals. 30 degrees, notice how A is in the middle, that is my vertex, I could also just say angle A equals 30 degrees. So there's three ways to label that. And I could put the little arc right here to show you, to denote, to signify where the angle is. Alright, I'm pretty sure that is wrong. Label, where's Mrs. Morse, one of the language arts teachers when I need them. Let's see here. Sit. Ellie, Len, oh, Abe labels right. I'm a terrible speller. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. Now, looking at this angle, this does not look to be an acute angle. It's not a straight angle. It's definitely not a right angle, so this must be an obtuse angle. I know it's not a reflex angle because there's no arc on the outside. So I'm going to spin my protractor here, line up what I'm going to call the origin on one of these rays. Okay, again, I have to be careful. This is touchy. Okay, there we go. Let's make sure that this is, there we go, that ray is lined up with the zero. Okay, now I could start from here. I go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. 
Now, here's 140. It's not 140. 135 is right in the middle. I would say that this ray looks like it's crossing at the 134 degree mark. So, I'm going to get rid of this for right now. 134 degrees. So, I have measured it. It measures 134 degrees. But I also need to label it. And I'll just give it any three letters I'd like. I'll put a point here on this ray. We'll call that uh, D. I'll put here a point where the vertex is at. We'll call it a capital O. And we'll put a point here where this ray is. It's G. So I can call this angle dog. Okay. Now, remember this is also angle O. I could also go angle G O D. Uh, this is also considered ray O D and ray O G because we need two rays to make up one angle. And the measure of this angle is 134 degrees. Take a look at. Draw and label angle DMC so it measures 145 degrees. So if we're thinking about a possible quiz question or something like that, I would have to also draw and label an angle. Now, using your protractor, the bottom part of it, you can use that as a straight edge. Some type of, like I think about it as a ruler. So I could cheat a little bit here, but if I'm going to draw an angle, okay, now this is 145 degrees. It's going to be an obtuse angle. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a ray. Okay, so let's draw a ray, because going back, let me go back to my directions here. It says to draw, that's one thing I need to do, and label. I need to label that angle DMC, that's important, so it measures 145 degrees. And it must measure 145 degrees. I think my protractor is too close there. Okay, so first thing I do is I'm going to make a straight line, make a ray with my protractor. Now, again, I can kind of cheat, but I'll try to show you here. So here is my ray. Okay, I would measure it a lot. I would draw one using the, the straight edge there, the bottom of my protractor, make it straight. Okay, now it has to be 145 degrees. 145 degrees. So I'm going to take my protractor, line it up, and this will be my vertex here at the end of this ray. Now 145 degrees, that is a large. So here's 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 145 would be halfway. Now I'm going to take my pencil and I am going to mark, I am going to mark where 145 is on the outside of this, on the outside of my protractor. So I'll put a little mark there at 145. I think it's marking it for me. Let's see here. Now I should be able to move my protractor. And see how I had that little red mark there? I would then use my protractor again as a straight edge and connecting it from the vertex here. And let's see there. Let me slide this up a little bit. There we go. Again, it's a little touchy at times, so you gotta have to have some patience. Okay, so I would then use a pencil to make my next ray. I will kind of cheat here and use this nice little tool, and I will use my make my next ray, and it must pass through that point. Okay, let me get rid of this. Okay, now I've drawn it. I now need to label it. So let's label this angle J O B angle job or bodge if I go the other ways. And that measures 145 degrees. So I put that little arc in here and call this 145 degrees. And I could go here, angle J O B equals 145 degrees degrees. Or I could say angle O is equal to 145 degrees. Okay, hope this helps you out. Take care. Have a great evening. Bye.